G'day guys, Morsey here. Uh, just another update on my elevator design. Um, my last video, which uh, is going really well, uh, showed a multi-floor version of my of my two popular elevators, the uh, 3x4 Minivator and the 2x2 carriage elevator. Um, and that was really good, but uh, there's a few things that uh, I didn't like about it. Uh, the first was that you had to press the button um, a lot of times to get to the floor you wanted, which is, you know, to be expected with a multi-floor elevator. But it also took quite a bit of time because you had to wait for the button to finish what it's doing before you could press it again. Um, that was one thing I didn't like. Um, the second thing I didn't like is it didn't really have um, great applications for a real survival base. Uh, I know that when I build bases, they're generally pretty big and epic and uh, I don't necessarily want floors every three blocks. Uh, it might be good in some situations, but let's say that I, I have a, a really big um, entrance to my base and it's really big and grand and all that cool stuff and the first floor or something is actually up this high. Now on my previous elevator you'd have to press the button roughly six times to get up to this height. Um, this one you just have to press it once to get up to something like that. Um, the other thing I, I didn't like is, um, again, a lot of the times when I build my bases, uh, I often have a mob spawner right up high um, and uh, for efficiency, and I visit it very often. So if I was using an elevator where you had to press the button an, any number of times to get up quite high, uh, every time I want to go to the mob spawner, I might have to press it, you know, 10 or 15 times, which takes up a lot of time. So this new method that I've put in is uh, I've changed the wiring a little bit, um, but basically um, you can select the height of each floor and it doesn't have to be a uniform spacing, so you don't have to have every three blocks. Um, for example, this one's you know about 18 blocks, this one's about six blocks. So that's cool. The other cool thing is what I was mentioning before about the mob spawner. Let's say the floor that I visit the most is actually up here uh, and and I can't move it because that's where my mob spawner is or something. So I visit this floor the most. I don't want to have to push the button twice to get up there because I visit it so much. I just want to be able to press it once and that could be my first floor. So you can do that with this system. If I just press the button once and then hit the button now you'll see it's quite a bit faster than my last one, which is cool. And as we go up, we'll actually pass what would be normally the first floor, and we'll stop at would, what would be normally the second floor. Um, but because I changed the configuration, uh, when I press the button once, I actually come up to this floor. And if I press it twice, I would come down to this floor, because I don't want to use this floor so much. So I think that's a cool um, change to it. Unfortunately, with that system, it does require a little bit more circuitry per floor. Uh, so at the moment, I've only got two, uh, and there is a little bit of circuitry in there. Uh, it's it's very simple, but it will expand if you have you know ten floors. You'll have a a fair bit of circuitry under there. But I figure if you've got a base that uh, has ten floors, you, you know you're probably not too worried about how much space you have because it's probably quite big. But with this system, it'll actually allow you to um, to select the height for each floor and make it more flexible that way. Uh, not to mention that it's much faster to push the buttons um, than my last one. You really don't have to wait much at all for it to work. Alright, so just to show a different configuration, uh, I'm here at my 3x4 um, elevator in the multi-floor setting. and. Uh, up at the moment I've got my um, cabin all the way at the top and I want to bring it down here so um, very similar to my other elevator you can actually call uh, to whatever floor you're on now on this one I've actually made this the first floor I've made that the second floor and I've made that top one the third floor so all I have to do here is just press this once and then press that and it will begin bringing the elevator down to me as you can see, it's on its way down. And again, you can select the height of the floors. And for this one, I've moved one floor there, another floor up there, 
and just a, a small section here. So now that this has arrived down the bottom, uh, if I wanted to go back up to this one, which is my third floor, uh, all I have to do is head down and hit it. One, two, and three, and then hit that. And it's a lot faster, as you can see. And up you go. So that will continue all the way up. until it gets to this floor where it will stop and yeah, it's a good um, preview of how that actually works too if you didn't already notice the uh, the pistons go at the same time and hit each other and they stop so so yeah that's uh, that's where I'm up to at the moment um, I've just got a little bit more work to do to um, actually shrink the wiring a little bit more make it a bit more um, size efficient now for this method yes the wiring will be a little bit bigger um, but I think uh, it adds an extra level of uh, flexibility to the design which makes it uh, even better to use in a survival situation. Um, I've also still got one more um, idea up my sleeve that I'm working on at the moment and that hopefully will cut out most of the the waiting between floors so when you're down here you, you need to wait um, you need to wait quite a while for it to to actually engage uh, and hopefully this new design that I'm coming up with which is much more difficult so that's why it's taking me longer um, you'll be able to leave um, each floor much quicker so yeah uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and hopefully that um, you know makes you a bit more interested in what I'm doing and uh, again thanks for all the great support I've been getting uh, really awesome and um, I'm hoping to have a tutorial for both of these uh, versions, both this um, selectable floor version and the multi-floor version in my previous video. Um, I'm hoping to do a tutorial for both of them very soon once I get them to a to a uh, point that I'm happy with. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.